news. I hope I didn't steal yours here. Uh, yeah, you did. It's okay. I, I mean, I, I'm sorry. There's I'm sorry. there's something to be said for being the first one into the dock. <laughs> <laughs> something to be, to be the guy that creates the dock, and he, so he gets to put this in here. And um, but no, uh, so so Pebble, yo, you were the early guy on this. I I got to inherit mm-hmm. it from you. Uh, I still need to check up on how you're doing with the Google Glass. Um, but we'll do that some other time. But this mm-hmm. is the big news of the day. Pebble had a big announcement this morning here on Tuesday, February 24th. Uh, they announced a new Pebble. And it's been three years, right? Probably right around there. I think it's from, like three from years. The, yeah, from the, probably the sh- first shipping of the Kickstarter. Right, right. And it has a, they, they had Steel. This is an original, mm-hmm. right? Was this from a Kickstarter? That is, yes, that is from... Yeah, that is from, I'm 99% sure that's from the okay. Kickstarter. You'd have to look on the box. <laughs> I think it's down here actually. Um, <laughs> you just have a tech. Either that, or it was right after. Here. It was right after. I don't think it was the early Kickstarter, but it was one of the later, the later iterations. So I don't know. I don't think that's the one that's engraved with Kickstarter first X amount. But right, right. Yeah. Um, but so it's interesting. So they announced a new one. Um, it's the Pebble Time. It's going to be a color screen, not touch screen yet. Um, but there's a few other features they've added on to this, and uh, they're going again through Kickstarter. Um, Five hundred thousand dollar goal. They're of course obliterating it with over six million dollars in in stuff. So so basically they're basically using Kickstarter and they say going back to Kickstarter where they where they started it all as a sort of de facto pre order system. The, the device looks looks stunning. I I like the new charge port on the back. Okay. Um, I think that's a good idea. I think it almost one of, one of the things, and it'll be interesting to see how they actually clip that on. I didn't see. I, I saw a picture of the port, but not of the charge cord. I wish they went to a micro USB personally. I, I think that would have been it would have made sense. But I guess I'm guessing the issue is where to put that that charge port, mm-hmm. and I'm guessing it added the thickness. Mm-hmm. Um, the the pictures beautiful display for for e-ink and and yet again seven days of battery life color e-ink display um it seems like it's a little bigger they're claiming it's it's thinner okay i read i read an article and let me see if i can find it real quick they shaved 20 percent skinnier maybe that doesn't mean thinner um, I like the I like the fact that they kept the curve to the wrist in there. Mm-hmm. Um, the bezel looks a little different to me, and I think it's because they put hold yours up for a second. <laughs> yeah, so so, so they kind of. <laughs> do you want me to take this off? No, for, no, no. For they, they they kind of so they kind of if you, when you look at the picture, it surprised me. It's like they have this outer bezel that's colored, and then they have an inner bezel that's. It's like this black ring, mm-hmm. and then they have versus this is just right. Hold on, make sure it's not an important message on there. <laughs> there we go. But uh, yeah, it's it's so this is pretty flat color to screen, right? Right. And uh, yeah, they they have a little more to it, you know. Um, I like it. I I like how the the devices they match the the colors of the buttons to the color. Of the band in the back, mm-hmm. I thought that I, the device looks sleek. Mm-hmm. Um, Yet yeah, still, I mean, it still looks. It's not Apple sleek, but it looks still kind of. I want to say toyy, you know, plasticky uh, to a bit. And you, you know, there's going to be like a steel version of this shortly afterwards. That'll be a little fancier, a little more expensive. Um, coming in at two hundred bucks. Um, it's two hundred bucks sleek. It's not. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not. Five million dollar Apple twenty four karat gold ridiculousness. Um, they're really pushing that a lot of the fitness features are in this. Um, they have a microphone, so you can do quick messages, like if you got a call or something. Um, and their interface was interesting too. Their thing, their deal was, um, we wanted our interface to be like a watch, which was the most Johnny Ives thing I think I've heard Pebble <laughs> say yet, right? And they go into this, and it's actually a timeline. You actually go through a timeline of. You know, when you checked in your 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 exercise, when you checked in this, I'm going to try to pull up a screen here. I know it's coming up in this video. 
Um, but it's a, it seems like, a, here's a little visual if you guys are on the video uh, of how that goes. So like it goes to the meetings. You can go back in time to see when like messages came in, when, when, when things were, um, you know, when a movie date is going to be, you know, they're showing or, or an email that came in 40 minutes ago, it's showing, right? Um, or a game coming up and the score. It's, it's really slick and definitely something that we haven't seen on Pebble. Now I know, I think this is, this update, a version of this is going to come to our current pebbles is, is i think a version of the operating system is going to come to the the pebble and i for probably some of the new sdk and software type stuff mm -hmm. um and this is uses bluetooth le so it'd be interesting if if, if who you could tie into <laughs> everyone in the room with a, a pebble but um <laughs> that being said oh, we're looking at all the options for sure <laughs> all devices <laughs> um leverage <clears throat> one one of the things that they've always done a good job with is being cr they're, they're one of the only cross platform watches, right? So to me, that's that's an instant win. I don't know necessarily what the Domino's app is going to bring them, um, but who knows? Um, they're, they're, what are you talking about? Domino's integration? You talking about the Domino's Pizza yeah. app? Really? It's a, it's on it's a logo. I understand. I can get the Weather Channel, okay, and, and ESPN. And, Nothing new. And Pandora. Yeah, um, makes sense. Sometimes you just got to order pizza like James Bond. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what they're using. They're using the mic with oh, the new. If I'm walking around app. here, because you I mean, like I, I go and order the pizza from Slice like around like you know a little bit before five o'clock here while I'm setting up the studio. If I just have to be like, hey, uh, Slice on Broadway, bring it, you know, that would be tremendous. <laughs> that, would be, um, that would be amazing. Um, but no, yeah, it's kind of bringing it to that um, kind of James Bondy thing. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, I know you probably see a lot of crazy products coming up around the Alpha Lab <laughs> for, for certain. Right, right. I mean, I know I've been waiting for, for the finally, you know, the right smart uh, watch where they, they figured out all the kinks um, mm -hmm. with, you know, now that phones are getting bigger and bigger, it's it's silly to have to take out my phone to do these little things, and I look, you know, I have the Note 4, it almost looks uh, weird talking on it without <laughs> without headphones. So, you know, the more I can do the quick items with my watch and see the actual, you know, reminders with Google Now and everything, I, that'll be the, you know, key addition to all the tech that I use, keep mm -hmm. me on time for everything. So, What do you think, Chase? I'd like to see more apps come out for it. Um, I think with Pebble doing this new thing and Apple coming out with their watch, I think it's going to start happening. I'd like to see something, uh, you know, even, even you know, I'm obviously selfishly looking at my app and thinking of, you know, maybe I can just swipe through profiles real easily on my watch and that'd be kind of cool. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm not much of a hardware guy, but I just see, like, it's interesting to see that the smartwatch is kind of starting to pick up a lot more and more. And, and Pebble, you know, really started a lot of it, which is which is pretty awesome. And it's, I think one of the more interesting things is that they're doing Kickstarter again, which really that's, shows that's you. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> so what is that trend now? What does that mean? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, hardware uh, companies just do so well on sort of because they have like a product they can actually give the users. You know, like Fitbit or like Pebble, they have like really nice things that you can actually get, whereas software can't really do that quite as well. Certainly. And one of the things that, and I didn't, I, I didn't get to read fully through it, but one of the things they did too was with their app menu. Mm -hmm. um, it has, it, it uses the present and future. So, and one of the things they were saying is, is after you get so many apps on the Pebble, scrolling through is a little cumbersome if after you get so many apps on the device. Um, it sounds like they're trying to solve for that so you can scroll back to the past to see what you missed and then as for the present that's basically where the new app menu resides mm -hmm. so you can always get so up is going to be through your past timeline and then down is going to be through your app listing seems it makes sense yeah you know mm -hmm. it, it feels like a kind of equivalent of oh maybe not actually i kind of wish my notification would do that on the iphone Mm -hmm. It was actually in like a timed order and not so much grouped up, you know. I totally agree. <laughs> I, I, two things: a timed order for notifications and a clear all button. Uh, next version. <laughs> They're going to do a lot of cleanup in next version, I'm yeah. sure. But uh, very excited to see that. Two go years behind the Android, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the clear all, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, oh, that's that's awesome on my Android because I don't <laughs> pick up my tablet that often. And it's just obliterated with with notifications. I'm like, ah, goodbye. 
I check them on everything <laughs> else that I use. So, um, but awesome. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Pebble Watch. I'm interested. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm more. I'm interested. I'm seriously more interested. Like this seems more practical than the Apple Watch. And 